Here we have a typical late model GM 2004 that has a common problem that GMs have. Bad front wheel bearings that wear out prematurely. They sure didn't make good cars sometimes. So let's go for a test drive see what it sounds like. Is this yours? My dad's. No, he didn't look like a minivan man. No, <laughs> he's got... Okay, now we're going to see what she sounds like. Sounds like a World War II airplane flying over Dresden. It's not that bad. I've heard a lot worse before. Yeah, yeah people cool. will drive them a lot longer than that. This one's probably not even loose yet. Well, our power box smasher guy has bought a brand new tool set. So we're back to my tools with the air gun in a 15 mil deep. Easy. Perfect. Now just pull the caliper off. Pull it towards you. Never push the brake pedal after the caliper's off. <laughs> you can pop out the cylinder and lose all your fluid. Then you have to bleed it too maybe even change your caliper. Now see if the rotor falls off if you tap it with the big hammer. Don't don't tap the braking surface, tap the corner. Right here? Or yes, the corner and tap it in that direction. Perfect. You can let go of the caliper, so what if it swings around? Well it's not gonna it's not gonna cause a problem. Those brake hoses are so strong, they're unbelievable. Alrighty. You can see on this model, they're at the, the screws that hold on at the back. Yeah. On the older ones, there was three holes in here, and the screws are on at the front. Yeah. Making clearance now to get at the bolts. Alright. Put some elbow grease into that. Tell he's a city boy. It's only a 13 millimeter. Come on! <laughs> I can give you an extension pry bar to give you more torque. Out with the old, in with the new. Now give that a turn. Now it's turning tight and uneven. The way they're supposed to turn when they're good is they feel like you're just turning a stick in honey. Nice, nice gooey feeling. Try that one. See, nice smooth gooey feeling. Also, if you spin the old one and it just spins and free wheel, free wheels around effortlessly, it's also bad. So, you got to remember when you install it, which way the wire went. So your wire is sticking out at the back. And the plastic thing you just throw away. Well, slip it on. And finger put in the easiest bolt at the back first. Right while getting that little plate lined up. Yeah, you probably still have to use the extension, but you'll have to do it with the wheel turned. Yeah, no, turn the wheel. Perfect. All done. Now slam that wheel on and let's go riding. Right. We've got Sky Hill or bust. So is this the first wheel bearing you ever changed? First wheel bearing I've ever changed. Was it harder or easier than you thought? So much easier. Just too bad you weren't strong enough to get those bolts off by yourself. <laughs> you spend more time working out. <laughs>